Oh goodness boys. She was a late one last night, so way she girds respect. But uh yeah, gotta go get that truck today. Freak sakes had uh prior arrangements yesterday, so I paid for it and everything, but uh didn't want to friggin' drive it all around the universe, so we'll friggin' uh get a load ready. I'm going to dump her off today and pick that one up. And we'll find out uh why they scrapped it, hey? loaded up and then we'll go pick up Manuda. Gotta go look at more piss mats with Jim today too. spins
Well, I'm just laying uh, under my truck there and noticing uh, the drive shaft got bent. I was hoping I might be able to chuck a couple batteries in it, drive it around, but uh, that's probably not going to happen. I could put a jack under it or something and try to bend it semi straight, but it's still got a kitty on it. But check that out. Oh, we can check it shot. Oh, it's got like a PTO transmission, PTO. Son of a bitch. That's, uh, that's what the PTO is, and then it's got like a hydraulic pump. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I've seen this. Let me get out from under here. Ah, I seen this. I was like, oh, what's that? But it looks like uh, it's pooched. So the uh, all the lines are are cut there to this thing. So. I don't, uh, I don't imagine that's uh, in use, so, I don't know, maybe there's some bits off it. Wabasto, yeah. I got a Wabasto heater in my other truck, another second gen 12 valve, NB 5600. But yeah, I never even checked out the winch. Maybe the winch is fucked. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But, holy. All the hoses going right into the cabin. What is that? What is that? Oh no, oh, no shit. Crazy man. That's awesome. Because what I plan on doing is uh, taking the the tilt and load pieces off of this. You know, there's like the hinge bit at the back and the whole friggin' thingamajigger. Like this deck will just friggin' slide right off there. So, you know, I'll clean it up, clean it up, fix it up. Somebody might buy it or I'll just leave it as a flat deck or I'll make sides for it and make another dumpster. But, uh, I want to take the trailer out back here and make a thing for, you know, my dumpster. This trailer back here, you know, I thought about doing the fifth wheel thing, but I always carry too much crap in my backyard. Look at the mess. Oh my goodness gracious. Somebody was having fun. But yeah, you know, see how many, how many cigarettes these axles have here. Two, four, six, yeah, so they're two, four, six, yeah. So they're like uh, 5,500 pound axles or something, so that'll be plenty. Cut this down, put a triangle potato on the front, mount that friggin', uh, mount that uh, tilt and load friggin' cigarette on there. You know, even if we chuck an electric winch on it or whatever, it doesn't need to be much just to drag the bin on. Certainly doesn't need to be like a 75,000 pound, million pound friggin' winch uh, that, that's on there, right? So we'll check her out and see if she works. Uh, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, the drive shaft got it a little bit. Uh, I don't know, what do you think? She fire up? battery but so far so good what do you 
you think. You can start. Oh. Nothing. Son of a bitch. If there's any secret friggin' Ricky rig. Two, 329,000 kilometers though. 329,000 kilometers. Son of a bitch. Take off manual. Decent. Decent. Oh, we got we got Reba. Hey, eh? we got friggin' Reba. Good lord. Like we got some electric electronical issues. Maybe just the neutral safety switch or something isn't the... Uh... Isn't in the proper position. Oh. Gotta been too good, hey? Just fires right up. It looks like the door's off here. Maybe they were cocking around or something. Startner, Chrysler Corporation, Cummins, Cummins Diesel. That should be a good one. Yeah, that'd be awesome. We just freaking pop one of the guys from my my inventory into the stovepipe. But if anybody recognizes that winch, yeah, it's got a plate on it, but it's all painted up and stuff. We're gonna see if I can't clean that off, but if anybody recognizes that winch as a friggin' uh, Disapini, let me know. It's got like a chain drive Ars Colio on there. Friggin' hydraulic, you just wanna stick your finger in there while it's friggin' giving her, but you know, there's the controls. There's an asshole on the back, which is totally dicked. But it works out good because I can use that. It's like a log splitter friggin' arse coal. I can use that to uh, turn this back end into a tilt and load trailer. So then I can chooch my dumpster bin. I mean, this is all, you know, I got a, I got an addition to build. I still got to finish this. I got to dig, dig uh, concrete, you know, dig holes, weld metal, pour concrete just to anchor this to the ground. I guess, you know, they're afraid it'll blow away. Of course, build the back wall and weld the containers together, everything, everything, different things, right? So, I mean, that's still a work in progress. It just, you know, busier sprig, right? But then once I get that built and then we can start, you know, doing stuff like the crawdads rig and do different things to the 80 tree. And, but yeah, I think, uh, I think if we take the engine out of this and put it in that, right? It's two wheel drive, it's two wheel drive. So I was thinking crawdads would be awesome too, but it's got a work and run and drive an engine in it. So there's no sense in wrecking that until it's at least, you know, fixed. We drive it around for a bit, decide, holy shit, this thing sucks fuel back relentless. But, uh, yeah, absolutely no reason why a come with diesel engine won't fit in there. Look at the size of the opening, you know, even if I had to, you know, modify the doghouse a little bit for whatever. It kind of sucks to just put U joints and this and that and a bunch of hanger bearing and blah 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 in there, but it's your fucks. Friggin' manual, uh, manual Grumman Gummins, but Grumman, manual Grumman Cummins Grumman would be awesome, I think. Oh man, can you even see? Apologize for that, but anyways, let's, uh, 
Let's see what we need to get this uh, out. And now I go from there. But she's definitely been sitting, right? So it's not something that's, uh, you know, you don't get the moss on it like that, especially on the door handles, right? Like moss isn't gonna grow on the door handle like that if it's, uh, you know, you're driving it every day. So it's obviously been sitting for a bit of a minute. A little bit of a minute. Okay, I don't know. Give the starter a little, a little tippy toppy. There's no throttle. That's that's turning over. She's turning over. Got a little a little smoky poo coming out of the terminal. Hit it with a hammer. a little tight too probably to put some oil in it just in case it does start a couple inches low on coolant yeah all I did to the starter was just clean up the terminals and then whack the shit over with a wire brush on the friggin uh, masculator and started to, to crank so it's got half a tank of fuel we put some oil in it i mean we might have to crack the injectors not look too bad i guess let me get some pb blaster on there just to see what happens Some wetness coming out of there. It smells like, huh? It smells weird. Oh, there we go. Freaking guys are out of there now. Just give her all kinds of pumps. Doesn't look too bad though. Really. Can't tell what uh, what year it is. There's the VIN if it uh IB6MC36C3RS686648. Ooh. Give her some more pumps. She's probably just got air in the lines. Terrible. We got bubbles.
Oh, more bubbles. See what happens when we pump at it. First one. Should probably have fuel to them all though, that'd be nice. some tape over over something starts anyways I got the call so I gotta go get another car but isn't that awesome my junkyard freaking commons freaking freaking works freaking works awesome we just got to uh, I want to get back we'll jack up the, the drive shift a little bit and just try to straighten it out a little bit we'll just test out the transmission clean up some of my some of my mess and my stuff and my crap there and then uh, would have been nice if we had the top of that box. I might have one somewhere, but it's got a patantler onto it. Yeah. It's got a patantler onto it. Yeah. Right. Nice.
drive shaft down so the Brakes work. We're driving the truck, boys. Let's put her in uh, low. Friggin' right. right twice a day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The clock's right twice a day, boys. I should probably uh, use it for a yard rig until we're ready to harvest the, the shit out of it and different things. That'd be awesome. Oh, Easy Home is almost done their fence. What happened? No, I can't be going. all the goofs in yesterday's videos. These bees are mean to me terrible. Eh? 
not very nice to me. Oh my goodness. So many snarling barking noises. But uh, yeah, that's freaking awesome. Totally freaking excited about that big time. Holy shit, man. Anyways, that'll be a project for another day, of course. We got a shop to build before we go worrying about uh, trucks, trucks and stuff, but. I mean something like that even if it even if the engine didn't work or the trim it you know for what i paid for it that's a freaking deal don't come around like that every day nope nope that is just awesome Unbelievable. And it's got some couple good tires on it, a couple good pieces, and hydraulics, this and that. I mean, can't lose. How could you lose? But, uh, anyways, got a little bit of a trip here. Gotta grab a. Gotta grab a vehicle with no wheels. So, this will be awesome. And all that smoke cigarettes and all that fun stuff. Roger, right on, boys. Right. Choo choo. Check this out. They came out with this new thing. It's like a, it's like a crushed aggregate. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's like a type of this, this new type of the crushed aggregate. But I got some like road fabric that I've been saving for special occasion. So I have to move some crap and we'll do a little scrapey and then a little road fabric and then a little crushed aggregate. It'll be awesome. Yeah, hopefully we can uh, take a load in in the morning and we'll pick up some fuel because the friggin' skid steer's out of fuel and my fuel tank's in the other truck and it's empty and I gotta move that gravel and it's supposed to ring in big time so hopefully we can at least get some of that down before, uh, uh, before the monsoon. Keep some of the liquids out of the out of the area, but on my Amsel, my Amsel showed up. But I got one of these uh, transmission, trans cool transmission son of a bitchers, and uh, auto meter freaking trans temp, auto meter trans temp, and, and then we got the final ingredient. Look at that manual. Synchro mass transmission fluid. It's seven of those pricks. $153 Merca. Oh, yeah. But uh, yeah, so we'll be able to monitor the transmission temperature. So hopefully this weekend the weather freaks off. We can uh, maybe get a load in tomorrow, do some different things, it'll be awesome. Fix the truck up a little bit, and uh, yeah, put some Amsel and some Transcool into it. It's model meter. I apologize, but anyways.